Explosives primed. I'm ready. From the rich, give to me. Fuse is lit! Opportunity. Oh, what do we get? <laughs> Coming in hot. Play my part. Nothing like the great outdoors. Take from the rich, give to me. I'm doing this my way. I don't need your luck. Coming at you. 
Stuck too long in a, you know, non master swings. That's the sound and everything. All right, interesting. Kempunk. Do you get good rewards from ranking? No, you don't get any rewards for ranking. Purely for, uh, for fun. Or competitive drive. Okay, so... Hmm... I guess the thing is he has to kill this or trade, so we never run into solitary monk problems. I mean, if he doesn't, then I'm completely happy, right? If it just hits him. So yeah, that's good. You do get an icon? Oh, I see. I don't play for anything like that, so I, I have no idea. The world's a big Ooh, place. interesting. Let's see all of it. Alone, we see things as they truly are. We can buy him. He must have another one to make that play. I wonder why. I'm just gonna attack here because Shadow Assassin here gets blocked by Ezreal. Well, that's like kind of dangerous for him. I don't know. It's it's not even that bad for him. And he could play other things. If I play this, I might, he might like contest this with like get excited or something. Maybe I, I want the mana to save it. My Silent as death. We each hold a world within. Even if he beams here, we have a blocker for Ezreal. I don't think we're in a hurry to kill it. Since, uh, as long as it can't get the mystic shot, we can kill it if we need to, but our first priority is, I mean, like, like, let's say I'd rather just buy it. The dark beckons. I think I could just develop by here. He has four mana, five mana. I mean, he could beam it, but it's not too bad. Then he has no mana contest timer. Main thing is, let's see. There's no way for him to kill both Lucas with spells, right? I guess even if he does, he can't use the Mystic Shot. I, I don't care if he like Mystic Shots this plus uh Get Excited or Beam here. Okay, it's fine. Stands for Just one damage. He can't use the Mystic Shot for mid that can kill next turn. Clear your head. Let your instinct speak. Good thing is next turn we have uh, exact mana for Heimer plus three mana. It's almost certainly Heimer. Imminently logical. Too bad I don't know flashes. I'll just attack after. Say he passes here. Actually, if he passes here, I can just. Pass, even. I don't think we do anything. We just kind of want to develop Heimer before attacking because if he casts spells during the combat phase, uh, we can get turrets if we want to support our guys. Fast as wind, light as air. He has board space problems, so I don't really want to force trades with Shadow Assassin. Guess you can make the call that maybe I have board space problems with Timer, but I'm not really planning on playing anything this turn. Okay, so we don't need any mana to protect our Heimer anymore. Because he only has two mana here. It's gonna be a minute.
I like the beam because also it's like perfect for uh, the turret. Three mana turret. He went Mystic Shot here. Oh, he's even using Ezreal's Mystic Shot. Interesting. Does he have three Ezreal's in hand then? Like he's one, just played another. Or maybe he thinks that doesn't matter for now until he goes Karma. That might make sense. I'm surprised he beamed that one, not the 2-2, two, because two, the 3-1-4 one, one would be with the static, so he probably doesn't have static in hand either. Hey, Mania, how's it going? My most groundbreaking invention to date! <laughs> breathe in, breathe out. Oh, right. He probably did the Mystic Shop because he wanted the second spell. Spell. Grasping claws. So uh, my read there isn't that strong. It could be almost anything. Okay, so the thing here is, since this turret is going to be a 2-1 tough, I'm trying to think if which minion to trade off, because I want to see how weak we are to static here. Like, how likely am I going to cast, uh, you know, a 3-mana spell? I guess we'll probably be weak to static anyways. I think we should do it the opposite. Wait, what is... Yeah, 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 yeah. It's too late for you. Because we have this too, yeah. For sure we're going to be static. I'd rather try it off the 2-2 than, than, than the 3-1. Shadow. <laughs> it's smaller than a diagram. Hey, Strife. Collective is changing in a few months to make all heroes really OP. I give... I guess the idea is nice, since can be in balance kind of possible to just make it like Marvel vs. Capcom. Um, My most groundbreaking invention to date! <laughs> if everything is strong, does that mean anything is OP? Or just mean like heroes are kind of like the main thing rather than cards, I guess. Minimize the impact of uh, community created cards in a way. I don't, I don't know. The concept of it is really cool. It's just really hard to balance community stuff like that too. Everyone has different opinions. People can just vote. It's like democracy, right? A lot of uh, dumb people have voices. Wait, I only have five mana at this point. Wish I had six. I made a few misplays this game. Diamond 2. Take from the rich, give to me. So in this matchup, I want to play my units one by one to make it harder for them to flip Ezreal with Make It Rain and Static. Ah! 
Everything's in place. Not a good trade. Two map two cards, four mana for one card. Damn it. You name it, I'll but the problem is the two one is stopping my Kempunk from being useful, so I have to respect it and kill it. Deal me in. All that glitters. Looks like trouble. I think what we'll do is this plus Vi instead of Heimer. This is really weak to beam right now. I and I don't have the Heimer hand right now, so I'm just gonna play uh, play like this. Take from the rich, give to me. I gotta kill TF soon. Fortune. Stick around. I'll show ya. Card advantage isn't really a concept. Safety will cost you. In any game except magic. I tried me this! Tread lightly, strike hard. Because of counter spells and magic. Especially cheap counter spells. Like one card that's eight mana is worth three cards, that's three mana once you're on turn eight. That's why it doesn't matter. I don't I actually don't know. I don't play Yu-Gi-Oh. I should have no clue. Out of the games I've played. Looks like I'm on a hot streak. Like Hearthstone and Rundera and stuff artifact. I mean, not that like having more cards is bad, but it's like it's not really like one card versus two. It's like it really depends on what you have rather rather than how many. Oh, he drew burst speed in flip. Now he can gold card me. Oh, nice. I guess I can get gold card. Always on the run. The goods on this one. If I must, come on. I have 10 mana here. If I play anything here, I can't Heimer. I can just Heimer next turn. I can't, I can't take a tempo here so I can open attack, though. Hmm. Is open. Don't ask where it's from. Ask how much.
I think I open a timer next turn. And don't play the turrets before I try to kill the TF. Just like Heimer next turn and then attack into TF. If I get a um, T Rex, I just lose. Answers. I have them. I want Heimer down so I, when I use spells, I can get the turrets. Be nothing left when I'm done. So good. At least we don't have to worry about T-Rex. Here's the fun trouble coming at ya. So to stun it. Went for Heimer. I think our reply is just to get excited that get excited thing. What out? What out? My win condition is just solely on Vi, kind of. Like, this is another Vi, right? If I can strike with the Vi and flip him, then this one will come out already flipped, and I can combo a Spirit's Refuge to heal a lot, maybe. I wonder how big this one is. It could be close to 10, I'm not sure. I guess they buffed it because they wanted more like barrel play or something like that. And surprisingly, Bilgewater doesn't have a high win rate this patch either, right? Like, I thought that Bilgewater would be really strong after the unyielding nerf too. The unyielding nerf helps that cl class a lot. Radiant Guardian and Unyielding is like Bilgewater's worst enemy. No one's the wiser. Wait, what is this? Is that? I wasn't even sure this is like aggro. <laughs> no, this is, but... It's like a Fjord aggro. Oh, it's probably Overwhelmed. Is it? I could see like Noxious Overwhelmed plus, uh, plus 4 plus 4 or... I have my orders. He's out of mana, I think it's killing. So, I don't, there's no heroes. I don't know what's it's better to kill than this. Thing is, this kind of stuff is awkward against Fury because they could just uh, counter it with buffs, like health buffs. Or so, so I think I should just do it while he's out of mana. I guess this is worth 3 damage too.
My guess is this is mono noxious. Right? Yeah, Overwhelm Allegiance. I think that's what makes the most sense. Probably Splashing Omen Hawk and the plus four plus four card. Alone, we see things as they truly are. Yeah, that, that's what makes the most sense. Basilisk. Now, Herring isn't good anyways, I think. I mean, especially not versus my deck, I guess. I could just deny it, but... No one's the wiser. I got buffed. Nice. It's hard to block that. I can just block Crusher's pet. It's fine. Alright. <laughs> Take a large hit here, but he's almost out of stuff. The order rewards its faithful. You keep this guy alive. If I must, you cannot escape. This is pretty big, yeah, Vine. So I need a Spirits Refuge plus Vine. I don't need anything. It would be good to have. Which is fine as is. This has a long way to go. Get three. I'm okay with this because this is his way to deny Spirits Refuge as well. And we can draw it, maybe, deep. Oh, they will bleed for Noxus. Okay, think about that. Is the okay, wait, 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 we have this. Noxus. Okay, so let's see here. I'm just trying to think if we want to say... I mean, we're going to do this for sure, but... I guess questions do I Kempunk? Then if I don't Kempunk, I have two mana saved up, plus seven. Move it. There's some really mine. <sighs> nah, there's not troll here. There's like a mind game here that's so next level. It's almost not worth thinking about. It's like whether I should will during combat or whether I should pass. Because if he doesn't know I have this, he might attack the Omen Hawk too, assuming that I have to block Vi into this. I actually don't think we play Kempunk. Because... Oh. Wait, wait, no, no, no. I am just wrong. I was gonna say, like, if we have 9 mana, we can deep plus Spirit's Refuge. But he's gonna kill Sodarius next turn anyways, so it doesn't matter. Wait, can't just kill him? Justice trouble coming at ya. On this one, wait, what is this play? So he must have another Darius in hand. That's the only way he wins, right? We win for sure because we have Vi. If it goes Darius, we just Vi. Oh. So 
So five health with tough. So it does three damage. I think I still win here. Doing this my way. I guess that makes sense. Just I need a blocker. Honestly, I should have just deep and killed it. I, I kind of just I brain for it. I thought I would already die. I mean, it's not like it's worse. I guess same thing. Because if I don't decimate there, I'll never get to decimate right. I gotta kill him before uh, I decimate. Since once he decimates, I'm not dead. Frozen Fiora. Have you tried Causes Voices of the Dusk? No. I haven't heard of that before, actually. I'm about to just keep double beam against the Masia. I've been having fun with it. What kind of card game is it? I haven't heard of it before. Two beams is really clunky, but I don't know. I, I thought I should do one like turn one and two, or two, and then one turn three. Yeah, I'm surprised. I was like thinking we have a few hours pass here, but please be it. Save your worlds. We speak with blades. No beam means I pass there. They cannot hide. So early access, I see, I see. Not and ready. Even if you repost this, Bye. I can just. I'll have another buy, and then he doesn't get to kill the Shadow Assassin for free, so whatever. Play the buy so we don't take the three here. Your move. Trading a repost for a shot is decent. I'm almost surprised he didn't repost my buy trying to do that. I'm trying to think if we should do this. But I can't set up a way to do this for two next turn on Fiora. I would have uh, seven mana here if I didn't. I was like, thinking, if we could play a five drop and beam, but we, we can't play another five until everybody dies. Also, that's our second spell for deep. I don't need a plan. Strike. So I don't get to use this. Down. <laughs> Wait, a lo so oh no, easy. level. Alone. 
I guess a reset. It's not that big of a deal. It's mostly like the the four four, right? Three three and four four is not the biggest deal. He can't play Fiora and kill for free now. Take six here. It's fine. This one's on the house. Oh, I think I messed up. I should have deeped, so we see if we get a beam here. Hey Kong, it's me, Lawrence. Oh, are you a... Uh... Are you a... Uh... Xu Chuan's son, Lawrence? No, well, welcome. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> they would fall by my blade. He's my uh my nephew. Well, welcome to my stream. Can anything go bad here? If I'm just scared of repose, like anything being reposted is that scary, right? Concerted strike. I might just deny this. Technically, I can get excited this, but th even this striking is enough to trade. I think I'd just rather deny this. It's like if he reposts, maybe I counter a Sphere Refuge or something. I was even thinking of not attacking because and that's technically a little bit more mana than me. I've been good. I've been uh, sitting in my house for like four months now. <laughs> Pretty much just playing games, not going outside. I heard that people aren't... I heard that there's been no school for like the longest time now. I feel like if I was a kid right now, I'd be so happy. Like when I was a kid, I never wanted to go to school. If, like, COVID happened when I was a kid, oh man, I'd have a field day. Be like, never go to school. <laughs> uh, I'm supposed to keep missing. I don't see targets, but it's an aggro deck. Actually, there's one drops. Dude, the kids got it made these days. It's true. What up, Strife Crow? What deck options I've been trying? So, no my plan is to try to get mastered with this deck and then try out the Brahmanivia deck. We're running into some traffic now. When I was playing like from plat to this ring, I was like, I think I've lost less than five games of this deck so far, but we lost a couple of our recent games, so we'll see. Uh, let's just pass, right? Might have something scare. I, I don't know the cards too well to say whether Coming I should. In hot! It's like, technically, like, I might want to kill before the attack trigger for one damage. Yet. Yeah, don't go to school just for games all day. My daughter's school just announced we were going to two days on three days at home. Oh! There's like a movement right now that um, people want to like go to work less too. Like after COVID, people might only work three or four days a week. Some companies, it's like a good social experiment to see if companies can function like that. I think it's good. I'm pretty sure I kill this I since I'll do three. I can block this or Mystic Shot. Thing is, I can Mystic Shot this during combat next turn, whereas I can't during combat because I take one extra. So I think it's better to block this. Survivor, just the best rank. It's just what I. Okay, keep in mind, I'm like a noob, right? Like, I haven't played in a while. Patch came out, I'm like a couple weeks ago. I, I don't know. 
Best thing is like play a deck you know, then when you run into traffic, like think about what decks are beating you and maybe think about playing those decks, you know, or something like that. It's like a standard way to do card games, right? So I, I, I don't know what's good. I'm just playing what I think could be good and then we will see based on what I run into. I just want to use my mana here. I can technically block this the 4-1. It's not pretty, but I'll do it. Just don't want to waste the mana. I mean, technically, I had a play where I go like beam plus get excited on it, the two. Time for the main event. I'm not too scared of taking some damage, actually, because we have. Vi plus Spirit's Refuge. We'll take five from this. Problem is, I don't know if I can block Draven with Vi. Vi has five health, right? I don't think I can block it. Oh, wait, 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 what am I doing? Yeah, of course I can block it. I have... Actually, oh, that's such a hard call. I might get blown out here. For the glory of Noxus. So I was thinking, like, if he just pumps it for the quick attack, then it, this might die. But then I, I could get excited, but then I thought maybe he would transfusion, which would do both, right? Save this and give the quick attack. I might just have gotten blown by transfusion, but it's a good open attack. We'll see. At least I get the beam now that I played another minion. My mom's yelling at me if I don't respond, that's her. <laughs> it's okay. Nivea's pretty good and might be partially due to the crazy Ironox mode. Oh wait, we're taking that much damage. I have to if do I this. Must. Move it. Oh. Tell it to the fists. I don't really Come like on. that play. Let's just go to one. The thing is, our only combat mechanic is Spirit's Refuge plus Vi. So I have to hope that he doesn't have Noxious Fervor. Then I can pull face. the Basilisk and heal next turn. At least the Fervor. Is there a play where we can... Hmm. <sighs> Problem is this threatening kill me next turn, right? We also died a decimate. I think I I think my best bet is just to go for it. Rather than like holding this to try to kill it when you fervor is because Yeah. If I don't heal here, I just die very likely next turn to everything. Or even to decimate this turn right away. Oh, it worked. No fervor. He could have decimate, and I don't lose decimate anymore. 
Two of his cards are just axes. That's good. <laughs> Another one. I have my orders. Okay. Um. What seems to be the problem? They'll never see it coming. Behind ya. Tell it to the fists. <laughs> Just gonna get excited of that. I should try to kill him this turn. I might get harrowing. Wait, so. Back, uncle. I think that deck is bad. Who knows? Alan said that aggro doesn't counter Heimer, but aggro burn does. Yeah, that that's uh, that's probably true. Well, harrowing is also just deniable too. I'm not saying like Heimer counters it too, but maybe it's not so much of a counter itself either. Darius is also just really weak to will. But yeah, burn is really hard just because it's they don't care. They're fast enough family, where my the higher part of your deck is bad. I think I'm just gonna beat him for six here because of transfusion and the fact that if I play this, I take four extra damage from curator. Technically, I'm gonna take three more because then I can block the almond hawk, but. There's all there's two mana, so it's hmm. probably he gets a card huh, if I don't one shot it. I, mean, I can't finish it off with Mystic Shot. Nah, it's, let's just do this. I think it's fair. Although, there is a case, because if I play this, I'll try anyway. then I can open attack with it too before he plays a, a blocker. Maybe that changes it. I mean, if he saved it with Transfusion or Elixir of Iron, then I can attack. I guess he could all just not attack the Omen Hawk, block on Hawk. It's probably fine. Just something to think about. Come here, handsome. Hello, dear. What have you got us into now? Why so good? Like, this deck is all about buffing the health of his units. The, the, at least this faction. I guess he, even this deck. But I can just grow Please too big. Reporting for duty. Make the Empire proud. I need to respect Transfusion, maybe. Oh, he didn't attack. Nice. Beckons. 
Twins is a great draw. Might protect my Vi from buffs. You must teach me when you have time. Oh, think about it. Here's the fun part. Eat this. I have three flashes. Kind of awkward. I can technically Mystic Shot, so this doesn't take damage, but I don't think that's very good. Because I also have health buffed it, which is just temporary, and I can Mystic Shot the Curator now. While he's out of mana. Hmm. If I draw another Vi, I need to keep it alive and flip it. I don't know how we do this block here. I can cross block, like block the two one with this. I can keep it alive maybe. I don't, the party I don't know. has arrived. Nice. The only reason why we do that before combat is for beam. Move it. Get it to 10 on my cross block. My beautiful face. Rom is on the job. My shield is my sword. Show me your best. It's fateful. Hit him where it hurts. I will play my part. That's how we do it. <laughs> I'm just here to see how ankle does. So that's cute. Now we're gonna save this for blocking. I don't. I still don't. Just go ahead and spear your future. If I want to use my man, I can just uh, do this. What will you have? I wasn't sure if he had more health buffs. I couldn't target this. It matters a lot because he's out of cards. So give me a random unit is like risk word is huge for messing up there. Remember your lessons. Oh, that's his whole hand. He can't stop this. To be sure. So we definitely do that. So that's 11 mana minus 4, 7 mana. We have 7 mana to work with. Oh, what? That's so good. I 
Could even heal the full, but I want to use the barrier. Clear it out. How about another round? Tell it to the fists. Bring it. If I did it before, he just wouldn't have attacked. Maybe I should have just done it before, though. For some reason, I didn't think that was, that's going to be that close after. Like, I could have just uh, did it before the dragons. Then that would have been no way he attacks, but I don't know if that's better or worse. Ha 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 